Elon thinks that, you know, I talked to him about it. He's like, the chances of us not being in the simulation are in the billions. Not being or being? Of, of, excuse us. The, the chances of us being not, in the real not world. being in the real world are like billions to one. Yeah. One to billions. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, makes sense. And he asked a very good question. He asked, what's outside the simulation? That's the most interesting question one can ask. In one of the papers, I look at uh, a technique in AI safety called AI boxing, where we put AIs in kind of virtual prison to study it, to make sure it's safe, to limit input, output to it. And the conclusion is basically, if it's smart enough, it will eventually escape. It will break out of the box. So it's a good tool. It buys you time, but it's not a permanent solution. And we can take it to the next level. If it's smart enough, will it kind of go, oh, you're also in a virtual box and either show us how to escape or fail to escape. Either way, either we know it's possible to contain superintelligence or we get access to the real information. And so if it's impossible to contain superintelligence and if there is a world that we can imagine where a simulation exists that's indistinguishable from reality, we're probably living in it. 